everybody welcome back to the channel today we got a brand new video for y'all today basically we're going to be talking about what it's like to daily drive a 5.0 this is a 2021 5.0 with the 10 speed this is a premium package car so i'm not running a performance pack um, springs or tires or anything and i also am not equipped with the magna ride so i don't have that adjustable suspension all right guys so let's go ahead and start talking about what it's like to daily drive this thing first thing is the gas mileage i do get about 280 miles um, on a full tank. This thing takes about 13 or 14 gallons, I think. It's not the best on gas, definitely. It does require me to fill it about two times a week, maybe. I do drive to and from work, so that's about 30 miles one way, 30 miles back, so 60 miles a day. And I also use it just for like my normal day-to-day -day activities. So while the gas mileage is not the best and I'm running on a stock car right now, what I have are gutted down pipes. Definitely once I get a tune, especially running E85, it's gonna be a hell of a lot worse, but that's just something you have to deal with whenever you drive with any V8, I guess, in general, but. So you can see here, I have a hundred, like 119 miles to empty and 142 miles driven. So probably like 260 is what I'm about to get right Regarding now. Regarding gas mileage, one tip I do have though is if you put the car into snow slash wet mode, if you have that option, I think it's only on 2018 plus, but that does decrease the throttle sensitivity. So it'll help you basically, I guess, save gas or not use as much because like basically how you would normally drive using that same throttle input would be, it would be weaker. So you're not accelerating as hard. Next, you might be wondering, is the suspension that bad on this car? So in all honesty, this car is not that bad. Uh, I do have the premium package, like I said, non magna ride, so it might be, or it definitely is stiffer if you have it in sport mode with that option, but uh, for my case, I just have the same suspension all the way around, no matter what mode I'm in, and it's actually pretty comfy. In, for daily driving in this, uh, with this premium suspension, whatever, um, it's not bad at all. You know, some of the bumps I go over actually feel really smooth, and there's really nothing to complain about in that aspect, so if you're worried about that, this is actually very bearable. Next thing we're going to talk about is the exhaust. So the exhaust is pretty loud. I mean, it's a big V8, especially if you mod it. So what I'm rolling with right now is I do have the active exhaust, which I will say if you don't have a Mustang yet and you're trying to get one and you're wondering if you should get active exhaust or not, I highly recommend it. Now I have gutted cat. Just with that, it made the car a lot louder. I also have a resonator delete with an X-pipe in place from Ford Racing and I have the stock active exhaust mufflers. So in quiet mode, the car starts, it's pretty tame. It doesn't bother anyone. You know, I can start it in the morning fine. If I do a cold start in normal mode, it actually sounds kind of loud with this Coyote engine. It's not loud, loud, but it like has a huge rumbling tone. So it sounds very deep and that's gonna vibrate the hell out of everyone's houses and stuff. So sorry, somebody's walking by. Um, if you live in like homes where there's a homeowners association or something, uh, they might be bugging you about that. So that might get annoying to you, but active exhaust will come in handy if you have that issue. Next, we're just going to talk about the comfort of the seats. So the seats are actually very comfortable. You know, there's not really anything to complain about. The only thing that's annoying is the side, like adjustable for the, the angle of the seating position. You do have to set that manually, but so that people can get in and out so they can use that armrest easily and it just snaps back into place but other than that you have adjustable like forward and back electronic you also have um, like lumbar support so I don't know if you can see that popping out or not but and these already have pretty tight bolsters you can get the Recaro seats I don't believe they have this functionality if you get that but I mean the seats are pretty comfy I will say though um, I always hear from my passengers in the back that it's not that comfortable for them. Your passenger also gets the same uh, up and down or forward and back up and down adjustable car seat. And uh, this also does have the heated and cooled seats. Oh yeah, the seats are comfy nonetheless. So next we're going to talk about visibility. Um, 
I don't think the visibility in this car is too bad. You can kind of see how big the back windshield looks through the mirror here. It's not bad at all, you know. You kind of have like an open entire view. I've been inside of a Camaro SS and I can say that their visibility is a lot worse. <laughs> but yeah, visibility is not bad. I probably only have one complaint with this in terms of daily drivability, but that is the transmission. So you're uh, on the feeder, you're trying to get onto the highway. So you're going like 40, trying to get up to 60. You're just gonna gradually uh, accelerate, but this transmission, I don't know what happens, but it's like very clunky. Um, it's trying to decide if it wants to downshift or not. When it does that, the transmission actually shakes like and you can feel it in the car and it feels weird. Um, I've never had a car that did that. I don't know if it's because of the 10 gears and it's just uh, more for the computer to try to calculate, see what it's trying to do. Other than that, the 10 speed is actually a very good transmission. It, it hits really hard and it's fun to drive, especially from digs. So, um, there's not really much to complain about other than that. One thing I do love about this car is the uh, remote start feature. Remote start is something that helps me warm up my car in the mornings. Can remote start at like five minutes, 10 minutes before I'm ready to leave. It just helps the engine warm up. That way you can, you know, as soon as you're ready to leave, you can leave, especially if you're running late. So that's always better to me than just turning on the engine immediately and then driving away if you're in a hurry. So. Uh, that is a good option to have and you get to hear your car from outside so uh, that's pretty cool also in terms of other like daily drivable use things there's a bunch of like convenient things so this does have like memory seats on the premium you have uh, i don't know if there's an option here but you have automatic high beams the infotainment here i don't have the calculator screen but uh, regardless this is still kind of outdated and it's not very um I guess intuitive, but it does the job. And in terms of trunk space, you actually have a good amount. You can even fold down the seats if you need to, and you have an under section. Um, my car came with a spare tire, but I'll probably take that out because everyone knows it's just slowing me down. And just so you guys can see about how much space I have back here, I'm five foot seven. This is my seating position for me being five foot seven. This is how much space I have back here. Honestly, for me, it's not that bad. Uh, if someone's laying down like that, have fun trying to get it in there but you now if someone's like probably i would say any taller than me so five foot eight um you're not gonna want to sit in the back that's just flat out like there's no question about it so all in all i would say this car is pretty easy to daily drive there's not too many issues if you're someone that's just one person by yourself i would definitely recommend it i know the new s650 just got released or just announced so a lot of people are going to be letting go of their old mustangs trying to get that one so if you can grab one of these for a good price, I would definitely recommend it. Other than that, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, leave a comment on what kind of videos you think I should be making or if you have any questions and I'll make sure to do the best to answer those or um, I guess provide the content that you guys need. Alright, bye.